All right, so I was watching this Warrior Laker game on TV, and I was noticing, as usual, all these calls benefiting the Warriors, helping them out in a game they had no business even competing in. And you see here, Steph travels. Watch the shuffle of the feet, and then dribbles. That's clearly a travel. All the refs saw it, but they don't want to call it. They only want to call travels against LeBron James or you know whoever. So they're gonna let him get a bucket here. Let the Warriors get points they shouldn't have in a game they can't even compete in. Really, like they should have got blown out. But all these calls are gonna go their way to keep them in it and give them a chance to even compete. So there's two points they got they shouldn't have had, and it just adds up over the course of the game. Offensive rating is Oubre. Fires it down. Starting five on the floor still for the Lakers. Now here you see Steph, you know, pushing, pushing and grabbing and pulling on KCP here, which is a clear loose ball foul. The refs right there looking at him. Doesn't make the call because they don't like to call fouls on Steph for some reason. I mean, he can't play defense. And they're just going to allow him to do whatever he wants without making the correct calls. Shooter, no. And then there, Anthony Davis gets pushed by a couple guys here on the putback. And again, no calls. And throughout the course of the game, you're just going to see the refs just not making these calls. I remember in an NBA game, I'm not sure we're going to have many issues with that. There's a little push there. Minimal Scoring contact, the not much of anything at all. But he hits him there on the drive. He he makes contact on him that's a reach foul and the correct call is reach foul and and all these fouls add up and over the course of the game if the refs are making the right calls the warriors don't play a certain way they back off a little bit because they're in foul trouble they don't want to get foul trouble okay, one thing about these Lakers, Reggie, watching them so there's another reach there he reaches around for the steal he misses and hits him on his side that's a clear foul the refs are watching it the ref sees it doesn't make the call as is typical the refs typically call one-sided games that heavily favor one team they play hard every night as Schroeder leaves it for Harold. what you're saying is he likes playing against the Warriors huh is that what you're saying about that logo there's a little push off there so there's the, the elbow on the back and he, he kind of reaches over the top of him and, and makes contact there. Ref sees it, doesn't call it. But they love to call it little ticky-tack fouls that help the Warriors on the other end. And there's nothing to see here, it's just catching the, the announcers, noticing that the Lakers aren't getting calls. And here... I'm not saying this isn't a foul. You know, he's he's bumping him there, he's, he's got his hand on him. But how much more contact do you see there from Wes Matthews on this end versus on the other side there, and they ain't calling nothing. So you get a little contact here by Wes Matthews, and it, and yeah, there is a little contact there, but they're not calling him on the other end. Big one he made at the end of that first quarter. Like here, there was just as much contact there Caruso. from Wiggins on it. Caruso, just as much contact as Wes Matthews put on on other dude. But here, see, there's the grab there. He's grabbing him the whole way. So he's reaching and grabbing, and there, there's there's contact right there. So that's a foul. Both refs are looking at it. They don't want to call it. Hits them on the arm there. That's a foul. And they're calling it one way on one side of the court. And they're not calling it on the other end. And it's, you know, consistently favoring one team. And this, I mean, the Lakers should have won this game by like 35 points, to be honest with you. If, if they call a fair game, if they call, if they call everything evenly both ways. Three games at Memphis and now you've got like right here, you know, LeBron's getting hit. Hit, hit, and not getting no calls. So there's a reach there, grab there, push, bump. And he's not getting no calls. You can see right there, he's reaching on him, grabbing him. That's a foul. Hits him again right there with the leg. That's a foul. 
grabs him on the inside. And then again, all the refs are watching. Everybody's watching and nobody sees those, those fouls, but conveniently they only see it on the other end if it's against the Warriors. Well, he's shooting 58%. Another one right there. Kelly Oubre reaches in, grabs LeBron right there. That's a reaching foul. All the refs are watching. Nobody wants to make the call because they don't want the Lakers to win this game. Or they don't want the Lakers to run away with the game. They want to keep the Warriors in it and make it at least look competitive. And then at the end of the game, all of this fuckery just adds up. Confirm the call on the floor. Laker ball 15 on the shot clock here. Inside, There's another one. On Draymond Green. There, there's the grab right there. So he's grabbing down on him, pushing down on him right there. Just contact the whole way to the hoop. There's the contact. No foul call. Wiggins Clear back. offensive foul. And these are just the highlights I grabbed from YouTube Wiggins from the NBA back. channel. Wiggins this is not the whole game. There's a Wiggins lot more calls. Down. There was Wiggins way more fuckery than this. But they called Wiggins LeBron for Wiggins offensive Wiggins fouls Wiggins for the same thing. Another foul. Another foul. No call. Hits him again right there. No call on the elbow. And then Draymond Green's going to reach right here. Swipes down on him there. No call. All the reps are watching. And then another body bump right there on the way up. So, you know, they all have the opportunities. They're all watching. Every single one of these reps can make a call if they want to. But they only want to make the calls that help the Warriors out for some reason. I don't know what it is. Clearly, the NBA is not fixed. It's clearly, it's not rigged. But they just conveniently only want to help the Warriors with calls. There's a bump right there by Steph. So he tries to run around the pick, and he bumps Caruso. That's a foul. And the refs watching. All the refs see it, but they don't make the call because they don't want to call fouls on Steph because then he would be out of the game, and he wouldn't be able to play because he can't play defense. There's another foul right there by Damian Lee. He goes for the steal and hits LeBron, and they don't make the call. Right in front of the refs. Kuzma, once again, this time set up by LeBron James. There's a bump right there, no foul call. Refs watching, refs watching. But they don't want to make the calls. James goes strong and finishes. Here, Uber bumps Kuzma. Refs watching. Refs watching. They don't make the call. And then the Warriors get the ball and score off of that clear loose ball foul right there. Boom. Foul. Foul. Make the call, ref. What a play by Harold. But, but if they did that to Steph, back. he'd be getting and free throws. Scores inside. Well, All day. Have to beg me to take a shot. <laughs> it's something <laughs> Reggie Miller's never heard. Look at this right here. The they're, they're calling fouls for Steph. There's no foul. Watch AD. He's sliding. Never touches Steph. Never touched him. Watch this. Doesn't touch him. Where is the foul? Who touched Steph? Kuzma didn't touch him. Schroeder didn't touch him. AD's just sliding. Doesn't touch him. So on one end, you're calling fouls to help the Warriors out and send them to the free throw line and give them free points they don't deserve. And on the other end, you're not calling fouls for the Lakers that would give them free throws or at least put the Warriors in foul trouble and change the course of the game. But the refs are just making up calls right here. Look, they can clearly see a foul somewhere. Steph jumps into AD and AD is just sliding. And these refs are just standing there watching. And, and conveniently, they could see it on this side. But on the other end of the court, they're blind as fuck. How does that work? Where's the foul? Now here's a foul. You see Oubre right there pushing Schroeder's arm on the inbound. And and look at his hand pushing his arm right there before he even has the ball. That's a foul before the inbound. Pushes his arm. Ball goes out of bounds. That's a foul. That's a loose ball foul. Laker ball. And Oubre got a hand on that. And it's off of Schroeder. Kelly Oubre forces the turnover. 
Warriors ball down the pair. Might be just what puts a team over the edge here tonight. We'll see. That should be free throws. They ain't supposed to have these points right here. This game should be like a 30-point game right now. And there's a travel right there and free points. They, they just called a couple travels on LeBron, but they don't want to call this travel on, on Draymond Green right there. The ref's watching. His pivot foot's inside the paint. He slides outside of the little circle there. So his foot's sliding. His foot ends up over there. That's clearly a travel. Everybody saw it. The refs saw it, but they don't want to call it. They only want to call traveling against LeBron. There's another foul right there. Late in games, we see this all the time. When, when teams are playing the free throw game, a touch like that will send a guy to the line late in the game. You just run up and touch him like that, and, and he gets free throws because you ain't supposed to touch the guy. Play your defense. Put your hands up. That's a reach foul. And the Lakers lose. And again, this, this is just a, a little snippet from the YouTube highlights. The whole game would take me hours to do. But, I mean, there were so many, so many calls that helped the Warriors, you know, cause the Lakers to lose this game that they should have won by, like, 30 points. And it's just a constant thing in the NBA. They constantly fix these games to help teams and to fuck other teams.